In 2012, I was diagnosed with a rare breast disorder that mimicked breast cancer. It's so rare that in case reports, only 100 cases worldwide were reported. My name is Myra Molina. I was born and raised in the Tri-Cities. I have an amazing husband and two wonderful children. Um, life is great, but it wasn't always like this. With this illness, when I got it, the doctors didn't know what I had, how I got it, or, or how to cure it. The only option I had at that point was surgeries and biopsies. biopsies. Every time I'd get a surgery, it was left open to heal from the inside out. And I was in so much pain, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to deal with it. You know, I couldn't do anything. My, I couldn't hug my kids, I couldn't hug my husband, and I couldn't go out to public places because I was scared that I was going to get bumped into and, and that it was going to hurt. You know, a three-year-old doesn't know that mommy is hurt. A three-year-old doesn't know that mommy can't hug you. And, and my husband couldn't hug me. And I couldn't hold them. You know, so I remember this one point, my son, three at the time, came running to me, you know, excited to see me, and he hugged me, but I kind of pushed him away, in a sense, not because I didn't want to hug him, but because he came in, in with that open wound, it really, really hurt. I didn't want to live like this anymore. And the doctors didn't know how to cure it. They didn't even know what it was. I was at a point where I had given up on life, I didn't know what lied ahead of me, and I was always in so much pain that I'd wanted the doctors to tell me that I had cancer, that it was deadly. At desperation, I went over to the doctor and I told her that I couldn't have any more surgeries, that I was done. And she said that the only option I had was getting a mastectomy done. You know, I declined that. I was too young. I was really young to have a mastectomy done. So the only option I had at that point was to continue taking pain medication, steroids, and vitamins, but the pain was always there. It was still a constant pain. Um, in 2013, they said that I was in remission, so it was fine. But again, the pain was still there. I, you know, I, I learned to live with the pain. And again, in 2014, it reappeared. And at that point, I realized that from my past experience, that doctors didn't know what I had. They didn't know what kind of medication I really should be taking. So I. I gave it up to God. I attended Hungry Generations prayer line in November of 2014. And amazingly enough, mid-December I realized that the wound was closed, I was healed and there was no more pain. So from that point on, I could hug my husband, I can hug my kids, I can go to the park, I can run and I resume my education, something that I had to stop because of this illness that had taken over my life. So something that took two years to just cope with, took three months to completely heal. I'm a living proof that God heals incurable diseases. I'm a mother to my children and a wife to my husband. God has restored my health.